Brian here from Black Ops Toys, coming at you again with another unboxing. Now, this is a unique unboxing, very unique. How do you catch a unique rabbit? Unique up on it. Unique up on it. All right. And then what was the other one? How do you catch a tame rabbit? The tame way. The tame way. Woo! All right. So, I'm going to do an official reenactment of what I got in the mail and how I acted when I opened it. Ready? Oh, wow. Look at this. We've already got this figure. What is this? Oh, that's not the figure. Let's see what's inside. Oh, look at that. Secret surprise. This is voodoo inside of a trick box. Looks like this is Medal of Honor Voodoo. Very, very cool. This has been something that everybody's been waiting for. This is a 1-6 scale figure made by Soldier Story. Um, long awaited. Uh, they have pre-released a couple of these in China. Uh, the bulk of the uh, actual run will not be done until after Chinese New Year. So expect to see more of these in the States then. Um, but I got this flown over special and I wanted to do an unboxing for you guys and kind of show you what it's about and what you have to look forward to. So let's get into it. All right. Oh, right off the bat, I can tell you this is a whole nother body. This is a heavy body. Uh, looks like it's got muscle arms compared to past soldier story bodies. Uh, wow. Very cool. He's even got some hair, so you could use this on a Wolverine bash. So beards are becoming a lot more popular. Um, just want you guys to know that I started the trend uh, of the beard. So let's go ahead and set him down. Right off the bat, we can tell. So this is a new uniform with no sleeves. These are new shoes. New body, new head sculpt, everything's new. What else do we have? So we have a drop leg panel, and these look like these go on the drop leg. So these are Molly, and they would hold your M203 or 40 mic mic rounds, which are up there. And I'll get those in just a second. Let's keep going. Helmet, great camouflage job, AOR1. NVG mount, bungees, got the actual bucket inside, good looking helmet. Cool thing, that's our dog Tucker, he's alerting us that there's a mailman outside delivering mail. So we have quad eye, NVG, blue lenses on front and on the back. Now these you can actually open. And just like their German figure that they came out with, their KSK, these guys come with these lenses with batteries in them. And this NVG set actually lights up. So super cool. Um, I would like to show you this, but I don't want to remove the tabs yet. So look at the stock shots. They're pretty cool. Anyway, it makes the whole thing light up. I'll have to show one of those later. I just don't want to lose that. Moving on, we got more stuff for the helmet. So we have a helmet light. We have a strobe. Lots of stuff for the helmet. Got some more light sticks. And then we got a helmet cam. It's a contour HD helmet cam. These will go in the rails on the side like that. So lots of cool stuff for the helmet. I'm gonna actually put all of this down here. That way. You can see the amount of stuff you can put on somebody's head. It's crazy, all at one shot. All right, keep going. So we got a watch, that's pretty standard fare. Looks like your standard G-Shock. Got an antenna. Got communications, radio, and antenna. And then let's do the vest. So three cell mag pouch on the front. This looks like it's true to the video game and true to the real thing in real life. But fantastic craftsmanship. Just have a 
have a stand that goes with that guy. We have strike plates. These go with the vest. Tourniquet, first aid pouch. We have holster. I'm gonna start putting these in piles in just a second. Just let me clear the tray. Fantastic set of patches. This looks like a slap charge breaching kit, which is very, very cool. I haven't seen this one before. There's been some done, but not this particular one. It's a large slap charge right there. Slap charge meaning C4, you put it around a door, you slap it and it sticks, and then you run away and you blow it up. All right. And is that it? We have sunglasses. I'm glad I didn't lose those. Those are new sunglasses. Very, very cool. Okay. Let's put some stuff where it needs to go. We have helmet padding. There's something in here. Okay. <laughs> More helmet stuff. Okay. So helmet, we have helmet Velcro, which is very important. That's how all of this helmet stuff sticks on here. Oh, sorry. I can't say Velcro. Oh, I meant hook, hook and loop. Shit. What do I say? The V word. I'm just going to use the V word. The V word holds this stuff. And it looks like we got two front sights, but this looks like the front sight to the scar. And then more radio gear. And then we have a hydro tube or drinking tube. So let's keep moving. We're going to run out of room real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and move some of this stuff over. So anything with this on it means it's a medical kit of some kind. I'm going to get all of this on here. Maybe I'm going to put these strike plates. They actually go in the vest. Um, this on Velcro is like the real thing. You need to shove the strike plate up there, front and back. So, this right there. I'm going to put these up here. Watch, I'm going to put down here. Looks like we have a grenade pouch of some sort. Another grenade pouch. This is a dual pistol mag pouch. This is your hydro pack. This is what your drinking tube is going. It's Velcro. Put some coins in there for added weight, but it comes out like that. I'm going to go around to the front of the vest. These are all Molly. I feel like a drug dealer. All Molly. All of it. Looks like we've got a multi purpose pouch. Another multi-purpose pouch, canteen pouch, lots of pouches. Can never have enough pouches. More pouches means more shit to carry. So we got bendy hands. Bendy hands are good because bendy hands mean that you get gloves. Now I should really do a video on this, on how to put these on there. Because I bet a lot of people have, have a hard time doing it. Just a little secret. I also have a hard time doing it. And I hate it, but if you do it right, it looks amazing. So we got some wire cutters, bolt cutters with AOR camo tape on. That's pretty neat. Got a sling. Got rigger's belt. We got a shimog. We have a retention lanyard. Lots of cool stuff coming up. So right here, we have a new Tomahawk with a Kydex holster. Oh, that's cool. That's going to be a super quick sale. So this is going to be a very popular part. Oh, look at that. Just like the real thing. Go like that. Flip that. Doesn't come out. Flip that. Cool. And it's even got the symbol on there. Very cool piece of gear. GPS, I'm just gonna put that down here with the accessories. We have a log book. And this is just a notebook. We have another pen. We have a light stick. Carabiner, carabiner, flex cuffs, just in case you want to 
tie somebody up, you have to have these. All right, let me get into the pistol. So we have your AOR1 holster. This is a drop leg. The pistol is probably one of my favorite parts on here. This is a SIG in AOR1 with the threaded barrel. I love this. I absolutely love this gun. So, but wait, there's more. There's more. Check this out. Yeah, bitches. I get excited about suppressors. Suppressors excite me. Look at that. Just like the real thing. That's the noise it would make. All right. Looks like we get some more pistol mags to fill up the pouches. So three of those bad boys. Okay, so pistol, suppressor, four mags total. Dual pistol mag pouch. This right here holds a pistol mag right here. And the holster. Let's keep moving. So we have a grenade. That looks like it goes with that guy. These guys. These are flashbang or incendiary or something. Glow sticks. So very cool. It's tied or taped. A bunch of glow sticks together. And then you put this on your carabiner. And it just looks cool hanging, hanging off a figure. Water bottle, water, because everybody needs water in the desert. You have, we're going to call this a knife. We're going to call it a tactical knife because tactical sounds cooler. Let's see. Ooh, it is sharp. Be careful. Good knife. You get a lot of stuff here. So now we get to the actual weapon, main weapon system. Wow. All right. So this drop leg right here for the 40 millimeter grenades, it does come with some of those. So let's check these out. You have different types. And is there any more? That should be. This guy, that's what I was looking for. So, grenades go into here, they go on that drop leg pouch. Now we get into the main, the main deal. This is the scar. And the tooling on this is amazing. They did a great job, seriously. Fan freaking fantastic job. Three mags. Three regular col colored mags. And then I am just going to do that. All right, let's get that out of here. Bam. So, oh, excuse me, scar with grenade launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and arrow R1. That's good. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, shit. So this actually does it like the real thing. You don't have to pull it all the way off like that. You go like this and then you turn it and then you put in the grenade and then shut it. So this will not go on if the mag is in the mag well. Bam. Bam. Bolt moves. Be very, very careful. So people think that, that they can just grab this shit and like pull it hard. If you do that, you're going to break it. So these are fragile. Uh, cheek rest does move up and down. This does fold. This does telescope. Telescope. Tell us something. So that little tiny piece, this is the front sight. And that came in that little poly bag um, with the helmet padding. But that goes right here. Suppressor, and it's straight. Look at that, straight line, that's cool. And then it's got an actual 
pattern right there. Fantastic weapon. You got your light, you got your pressure switch, got your PEQ, looks like an Alcan scope, and then your AOR sling. So lots and lots of goodies. Um, as you can see, fantastic figure. Lots of stuff, lots of lots of really cool stuff. I'm really looking forward to getting this figure uh, and doing a build on it um, when the main shipment comes in. Again, uh, I think about 30 of these made it to the US, so only a couple customers will be getting them right now. Uh, but fear not, more will come. Um, again, uh, past Chinese New Year, but they will come. So you will be getting yours, great figure. I really hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, please make sure you smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of new content like this.